back to the continued adventures of Hillwork Fighter Jack of Zen. Back into the Abyss. The character is home free at this point uh, with maxed Zen piety. He can sanctuary whenever necessary. So there's very little risk. Um, and one can simply keep on farming. Uh, Zen offers full mutation resistance. Uh, that uh, Rich's star nailed me, so I switched to reflection. Prevent further HP loss. Probably should have done that at the beginning of the fight. Looks like I have not set up macros yet, um, which is annoying. I'll do that soon. Just took some time to get comfortable with uh, gear choices before I lock them in with a macro. Got a slow on the vampire, which helps because he's a uh, Endurance fighter tries to drain. So lowering his uh, regeneration is good. Effective regeneration. Pass walling is always good because it uh, provides a secure line of retreat, which is the only way you can get that in the abyss is pass wall. Other options uh, are delayed teleport. Uh, that's really it. <laughs> I suppose one can haste and run. But in terms of like a genuine retreat, I think uh, Pass wall is it. Pass wall or delay teleport. Got the war world binder in view, which I don't like, um, but I'm going to stay on the lich. Keep hitting him with. Uh, I'm not hitting him with anti magic because I need the MR, plus, which is questionable. I'm not totally happy with my anti-lich uh, tactics yet. Still don't know what this guy does, so it's hard to adapt. But at least his uh, hex chance is zero. I decide that the world binder is getting out of hand, so I go with the lamp of fire, uh, which is highly effective, and get the kill on the lich. Now the world binder's uh, packs have been cut down. It's almost in range of melee, but he dies. And, uh, an abomination is attracted by the noise. Bio still mad. So I recite Allows me to easily annihilate the pack. Although I could just uh, ignore them, keep advancing. Get the slow on the Draconian, which is good. MR is their weakness. Another abomination.
port my rocks. Get my gold for that Zen piety. Here comes a heavily armored ice devil. I think the flame axe would be good for the high damage to swing through his AC, but uh, Holy Wrath also works. Unidentified ring might be something useful. Maybe. Tormentor. Recite immediately. And, well, get RN going immediately. He torments immediately. Is he fast or something? How did he... And Recite takes care of him. Pass wall. This is a nice spot, secure spot. So I rest a bit. Should have put Corona on that uh, Quasit. good thing I've got my spell casting very high because I'm often resorting to the anti-magic axe which aggressively depletes oh uh, plunged deeper into the abyss not exactly shafted but um, the equivalent thereof just to abyss too not a big deal but definitely cause for pause. And this uh, Orc Warlord has a distortion axe, which is a problem. So I need to think about how to counter that. Recite still makes sense. And. Um, Hemas is a 50-50 chance, and I'm wearing my anti, my no telly sling. Um, so I switch out of that and blink away. which maybe I should have done before doing a recite. And I'm just trying to leave the Orc Warlord behind. I guess reciting did help prevent pursuit by confusing the crowd. Jews are weak to Corona. It's such a handy hex. Um, such a bad idea to amnesia it when there are so many monsters that have extreme EV and terrible MR. The obvious thing to do is to Corona them so that you don't miss a ton.
thinking about how to engage this Deva. Keep smiting me at range. My region can almost keep up with it though. Now I've got a nice blind corner to ambush him with, but I decide to go for the pass wall instead. Here's a tentacled star spawn, which standing next to with an axe effectively counters. Unfortunately, the Deva was able to path to me again. So tanky that it's uh, difficult to do anything to him. So I'm just going to pass wall again. And there we go. Made, made good my escape. Anti magic the Enoxinol to prevent any. Iron shotting. And also have an axe ready in case he summons Ufetabai. Note that Zen is a location in the Sinai Desert, if I recall correctly, clearly an Old Testament illusion. Reflecting the Rakshasa's uh, IMP. And it looks like I also recited the small abomination. Running along the diagonals as is optimal, BO smites. Here's a vampire. Recite. Didn't want to uh, mess around since I was already hurt. Not that a vampire is a threat, but just being aggressive. Skills look fine, and I'll also start training up my throwing and slings since ranged is such an important factor in the abyss. Um, and spellcasting has reached primary at marginal cost of 21, so I stopped training it. Take a step forward and finish this with an axe, which uh, I guess I had to do because I had ads coming up behind me. But that's not the ideal way to engage. Star Curse Masses, as you can see, by the fact that my health is declining. You don't want to give them time to scream, you want to keep them. keep hitting them so they keep retracting into themselves and um, a sling is really the best way to do that ideally they have to line up for the sling and then one can basically take no damage anyway things getting hairy hovering around at half HP now this thing is threatening to Vanish me again. Spatial Maelstrom. And I'm getting chewed up here. I think I should blink away from the Spatial Maelstrom and uh, engage at range. It was tearing me up, I guess it was 
is distoprox that we're doing that? I'm not sure. I take an ambrosia to recover from that fight. Really, I went through it too quickly. I'm just kind of not taking the branch seriously. So I doubt it was necessary to spend that ambrosia there. Um, I am on Abyss too, and I should be playing more cautiously. Could have easily been Abyss there again to uh, three or deeper, which would have been a problem, especially at low HP. So I need to take things a bit more seriously. Just looking to uh, move through these guys. I mean, I wasn't even reading the, uh, you know, the combat text, so I wasn't sure what was happening or why I was losing HP. So I'm sure there were spells I could have cast and blinking I could have done to make that go much better. Reciting the two abominations. Definitely a bit busier in Abyss 2. Consistently below max HP. Need to up my game a bit. As summoning rises, I should um, amnesias and things and get uh, Mana Viper going. Should be. An excellent substitute for anti-magic axe. Good counter to liches. I remember to add in the uh, lesson I learned about slime. I need to farm the abyss for Max and Piety before entering slime. And I finally decided to optimize my or update rather my macros the ones that I intend to use. There's my exploration macro. Unblacking is not relevant in the abyss because there's no... You're always exploring into the unknown. Due to the shifting nature of the abyss. This is the ideal engagement scenario for Starkhurst masses. It can fire through multiple with the uh, sling and force them to spend their turns recombining rather than shrieking. Took practically no damage there. 
setting up my casting macro now so that I can get maximum range on my pass wall, which is strategically significant for navigating the abyss because it allows one to uh, rely much more on pass wall running meaning that uh, one has a much higher proportion of um, uh, tactical situations in which a secure line of retreat is available. A deeper pass wall causes fewer failures due to excessive rock depth so I'll be switching between macro 1 and macro 2 a lot macro 1 and macro 4 rather get stuffed. Realize that my pre-contact macro isn't complete. Scroll of Enchant Weapon goes on the Holy Wrath <clears throat> Scourge. Always vitalize immediately upon seeing a ancient sign. Corona on the Raiju. Or no, I just killed him. Which got me the gateway out, which you always take immediately. Because another one won't spawn from kills. And that is your one chance. Otherwise, you have to find it from exploration. Which is not guaranteed to happen, I believe. I should be past wall moving there instead of going for the open. Another hapless orc pack gets recited into oblivion immediately, thus proving that uh, Zen is mightier than B.O. I decide to ditch them. The orc warlord is doing an amazing job of following me while blind. Always take the first exit you see. The abyss is about endurance, so resetting is valuable. If only to clear out inventory slots. Green Death. Uh, 
I recite and scourge. Opt to conserve my MP. I am yanked to a different section of the abyss. Start exploring in the open, which is, I think, the wrong move. I should be moving towards pass wall opportunities. Considering what I should use on the Necromancer's hordes. Try to hex the Necromancer. He's got fire, so I want to get my RF going. And it's just a fight with these rather beefy skeletons. You should slow that uh, fire giant, maybe. Probably not. Hellwing, no big deal. Ancient Zyme and a small abomination. There's an angel. He's got a scourge as good as mine. I could brand it has something else that might be useful. I decide to anti-magic him to prevent him from healing himself. Which is the right play there. With his strong defenses, heals are difficult to out-damage. Smoke Demon, nuke him with the, oh, Lurking Horror, I don't think there's a way to escape this, I need the RN plus, well I guess I can blink here, and that might save me, I doubt it though, I think, uh, I have to equip the sling, which takes away my blink, gives me some RN, and then I decide to just pass wall back. But he's gonna spot me, so. I don't know of a good solution to that situation. I'd rather guarantee an escape uh, with, you know, somewhat above half HP than gamble a bad blank and then tormented with no RN. In other words, in that situation, it's about minimizing the worst case scenario more than the average damage. Is that true though? If the worst case scenario happens, I can always sanctuary. So maybe I don't 
really care about worst case scenario mitigation, I care about average damage. In which case the blink would have been possibly the better play. Imp Island. I recited the crowd. I bet that's a vault with a guaranteed exit. Quick reflection for the wretched star. Lignification will be useful with TSO, as will polymorph. Making sure to enable Pickups, auto pickups. Deep Health Sorcerer with his damnation is not something I want to face at range. And I don't have to face him at all. Reflection. I shouldn't have uh, equipped anti-magic there, that was a mistake, or a misplay, typo or misplay, not sure which, likely a misplay, oh sorry, likely a typo.
enoxinol. Inventory is full, so I ID the scarf, which is a duplicate, and take the ring of strength. There's the exit. Wave goodbye to the Hellion. So lucrative entrance. Very lucrative. Line of Fire, the World Binder, and Anti Magic. Bunch of blink frogs, a blast from the past. Their MR is low, so I'm missing due to their high EV, but there's no need to be missing like that. Um, you can just corona them. I should have done that. Should have done that earlier. Got a death drake now. Really don't want to face that miasma breath. So I try to confuse and I get it. I suppose I could have vitalized, and actually, that should have been my move, my first move. That was a mistake.
world binder. Go for anti magic on the world binder. Taking some damage. Guardian Serpent isn't much of a threat without allies to blink. A Rakshasa. sight just obliterated those skulls. Bone Dragon and a Draconian Shifter. I don't like Dimension Anchor. It's only 1%. His ability to blink allies and circling is problematic for playing keep away with the bone dragon. I decide to pass wall. Blocked by the large abomination. But it doesn't look like the bone dragon has a path to me. Wait for the shadow demon in this pseudo kill hole. Chaos spawn vitalized to defend against negative status effects. Another bone dragon. This time he's alone. Which means I'm considering taking him on, since I can blink away if it becomes a problem. The awkward thing is that my ranged attack is minus telly. 
my sling, so it's uh, time intensive to switch weapons and then blink away. I decide not to back into the kill hole here, uh, but instead to use the axe, sort of to see how well the axe performed against him. Also because I had full HP. And sometimes in the abyss you want to maximize damage output over other considerations. Finally, I wise up and start <laughs> pass falling immediately. I escape from a bone dragon into a profane servitor. Decide to take the latter fight. Uh, he's got a whip of draining, I believe. And oh no, it's flaming. So. I should not have equipped the, str the, the sling. I thought he was doing draining damage. The sling is actually in RF minus, so that's the wrong move. I bring my shroud up. Consider my spell options. Recite uh, Corona to him. I think we'll just cancel out his Umbra. But I figure it's good enough to try taking him on. It's a controlled situation. It's a good time to test how strong an enemy monster is. Holy, uh, try Holy Wrath first. But it was ineffective, it didn't cause convulsions. Profane Servitor is not vulnerable to it, surprisingly. It doesn't fit with the Christian cosmology, but I guess <laughs> it does with the DCSS one. Take a moment to cure cancer. Equip my RF. Freezing mace, <laughs> which is, I should call it like a uh, flame bane or something. The extinguisher, perhaps.
Well, since it's a morning star. I think bone chill would be more appropriate. Since that's what it does, break bones. Zion is also not vulnerable to holy wrath. I should just say holy. Raju, but it's too late. I've pass walled out. Oh, they catch up. Not surprising. I just slow them and keep going. If it's not convenient to engage and just keep moving, the abyss does not take kindly to. Loiter loiterers. Grab those chunks. Ride you are basically microwave top dogs. Just kind of training secondary skills at random since they are unusually helpful in the abyss. They allow me to extend my endurance by relying on my MP bar for damage rather than my HP bar, since endurance is king in the abyss. Uh, that's where my training should go. Recite for the blizzard demon. I need to get my RC maxed well, to the maximum possible two pips and I decide to throw in a shroud of Galubria for the hell of it in case he tries a melee attack anti-magic him down Pick intelligence for the last level up.
tentacle star, star spawn is not vulnerable to holy. This is another good location to engage the star cursed mass. Yeah, there's the recite, and of the Wretched Star is blocking for the Star Cursed Masses. They've managed to multiply without the sling controlling their division, so it's time to retreat. The Star Cursed Mass has powered up. brain. I'm going to need some MR. Anti-magic and reflection for the Rakshasas. Quite the crowd developing here. Three Zymes. I decide to recite and the Zymes just get nuked. <laughs> Apparently Zen disapproves of disease. Cancer in particular. I suppose it is a mutational affliction. And the elephant is confused. I realize there's a gate here. Must have spawned when I nuked all those zymes. So I head out. Should have been reading all the text. That was sloppy. in my MP before entering the abyss. Start doing so and Bo decides to make his displeasure known. Still insisting on orc supremacy. All evidence to the contrary. I suppose orcs explain their lowly station by reference to uh, systematic institutionalized elvish oppression. Doesn't really explain the draconians though, does it? have a bit of fun with this elephant. Poison him with my venom fastipulus. Finally get some use. 
It's really kind of useless to have any of this. I should probably leave it behind. It's my substitute blowgun. But almost everything here is either our poise or squishy. And slow kills aren't really something you want in the abyss anyway. I'm blinking away from it, but yeah, I guess that's a good thing to do because it'll walk forwards instead of meleeing me, which allows my region to tell. Keeping its poison up and just uh, planking it to death. Its emergency flag is causing it to blink more. Probably. Surprisingly, that corpse is edible. So I'll have some pre cooked elephant meat. No need to add barbecue sauce. brain. Accidentally fire sling bullets at it. Bunch of hellhounds. Some demons. And there's the exit. Charge straight for it. Gaining the ability to cast some higher level interesting spells. I'll have to look into that later. As you can see, this abyss farming is completely, almost completely safe. Once, once one gets the hang of it, gets back into the swing of it, so
It's really a problem for a game that's supposed to eliminate tedium as part of its philosophy to incentivize risk-free farming of the infinite abyss is contrary to principle. Particularly with such a common and accessible God as one of the good gods. Zen, especially, is the most prominent one that you'll use pre extended. So it's not like it's an obscure or small game mechanic, it's basically definitive uh, of the essential combo balance, the fact that one can farm abyss on so many essential characters with sin. This world binder is being annoying, hiding behind the wind drake, which does that. Now I've got a Lich incoming. Not sure how the wind drake knocked himself to the left. Here's the lich now. He's a banisher. My priority should be to prevent that. Let's see how I do. Uh, I decide to just engage with the sling and not worry too much about banishment. 1% chance. Now I've got a star curse mass, which puts a timer on this engagement. I keep engaging with the sling. And finally get him. My plan was to close the door to disengage with the Starker's Mass. Screaming psychically at a door apparently isn't effective. Here comes an Ofen. Wheels within wheels, very... Biblical Old Testament. Trolled. Running down the river actually works well in the abyss since many creatures are poor at following in the water. I have a slow move speed through water and it's uh, sort of a predictable open thoroughfare. So. I decide to fly on down the river. Spatial maelstroms. And there's an exit. So what I should do here is... Hmm, 
I recite, which is the right move. But now my way forward is blocked, and I get abyssed. I think I could have used blink strategically to do that better. Random blink and get around that blockage. It would have been tricky, but I think there was a way to do it. If I backed up into that corner in the upper right, or yeah, to the northwest. I always hate to miss an exit, so just thinking about that failure. Really, I should have popped some the vocables there. Oh, that's right, I should have. Um, use the fan of gales to blow them away and make a hole. So here I am on Abyss 2 again. Next time there's an e a contested exit in view, I should definitely slow down. Speaking of slowing down, I Slow the zombie. Slow is the bread and butter first hex that you apply. Regardless of whether one wishes to engage or retreat, slow is going to be long lasting and effective with a high chance of landing and a cheap cost. It's the most basic hex. You should never. Amnesia. Will always be relevant because there will always be monsters that you want to hex, and there will always be monsters that are at the edge of your ability to hex, and for those ones, you absolutely want to slow them. Blizzard Demon. It's wrecked. Which spawns the gate out, which I take. Rising up using pass wall immediately. Wonder what that yellow tile is. Certainly not a rune vault. One simple solution to this uh, farming issue would just be to make the abyss entrance uh, abyss higher level characters deeper. And make it much more risky to try to farm the abyss like this. Maybe make it uh, continue to become harder based on earned XP even after one reaches XL27. But uh, maybe that's unnecessary and balance breaking and maybe the only thing that needs to happen is to 
just do general balance changes like reducing the XP earned per kill by a flat percentage. Another river I can follow. The Abyssissippi. All rivers in the Abyss are now officially named the Abyssissippi. Obviously, there's only one river in the Abyss, and it just uh, connects to all the other rivers in an infinite plane, they eventually intersect. It's sort of strange that Lugonu is the god of the abyss, but Zen is the god that's completely comfortable in the abyss. <laughs> Maybe they should switch domains. You know, the DCS gods are all part of a cartel keeping the mortals down. Pretty obvious judging from the temple. Instead of banding together to shut down the giant violation of OSHA regulations that is the dungeon. They just uh, set up shop and exploit foolhardy adventurers for loosh. L-O-O-S-H. meaning veneration, essentially, piety, in the numerical sense. Star-cursed masses kick their asses, minimal damage taken. Another draconian shifter. He blinks me. I don't have minus telly up in order to have MR plus to prevent his dimension anchor. Don't really mind blinking around. He's going to try to keep play keep away, so I've got a neutralize him at range, which, start, which starts with slow, as always. And then I start running him down. Oh, I, I, I confused him as well, so that he wouldn't cast it all. I'm just trying for the finish. 
So Mechosec. Don't have to worry about him too much. Rather get the shifter before he um, hexes himself. Recovers. Star cursed masses are trying to get out of hand, but uh, the sling is too too mighty for them. I'm anticipating more star cursed masses, but not seeing them. Yes, I got them all. Deep Elf Demonologist, I want to LOS instead of engaging at range. And just summon demons, put them between me and him, and then. And then what? I want to nuke this guy, so I. He's got high MR but no AC, so I start hitting him with Sandblast. It's highly effective. And he's dead. So there you go. Sandblast stays relevant and Exil's 27. Even for a non-caster. Well, for a melee primary fighter whose Earth is not his primary focus by any means. Star Curse Mass. And a Lich. Time to pay attention, I hope I do. I decide to go for anti-magic, which I think is too much of a risk. I'm not happy with how this went. idea what he can do. I've applied anti-magic. He's got four slants. And bolt of cold. And a 9% chance to slow. Which would be bad in the abyss. Sure, spell power is decent, so it lasts a well while too. Really need mana vipers to render these, which is trivial. So I don't have to wield my own anti-magic axe. Which is a very expensive way to counter casters. Unless you've already spent your mana. Turtle zombie. Sun demon. There's the exit. Take it immediately. And that's it for today's session. Uh, thanks for watching.
see you next time.